So the Vegas Raiders uh, fall to the LA Rams. Uh, the big story in this game is that Aiden O'Connell goes down with an injury. That shouldn't matter. Uh, Gardner Minshew, the, it, it, it was fun. He had the mustache. There was the pictures, all that stuff. He had this kind of whoa thing to him. Um, he's not an NFL quarterback. The, that was, uh, again, a dreadful performance against the Rams defense that should be there for the taking. You should not have to uh, kick a late field goal just to get your 15th point of the game. Um, th there was absolutely, it's just, it is a bland offense with a quarterback who has some like location issues, uh, zero pocket sense, all of it. it. It is just, it is so bad with the quarterback situation. And look, I don't think Aiden O'Connell's it either. I I am now at the point with this Raider team where you draft a quarterback this upcoming year. Um, that This is, I, I, I know all the time, I talk about you got to get that foundation set and all of those things. I think the offensive line is maybe a little bit better. Um, and you don't have Devontae Adams there to throw to anymore, but with Bowers and Myers um, and and Tucker and Turner there, there's at least a couple of guys that you can get a little bit excited about right now. And I, I think you're not bringing a quarterback into the worst situation in the NFL anyway. So I, I think that the time would be now to, to go out and make that move. As far as uh, some of the other highlights from this game, I loved that field goal with three minutes left in the fourth quarter when you're down by eight. Not from a game play standpoint, uh, but because I had Raiders plus seven from the pick per game on Friday and um, they were down by eight. And so you kick a, uh, a field goal. Hey, covered the five. Congratulations. From an actual I want to win football game standpoint, it was abysmal and just an embarrassing note to kick that field goal. I don't know how you can tell your offense that you are taking them seriously if you are having your quarterback um, have to watch as they kick a field goal in the red zone down by eight. You still have to go down and get a touchdown anyway. Um, and to then have to like, it just, it didn't make any sense to me. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting off whatever because I'm, I'm mixing a couple of rants together. You're down by eight. You kick a field goal. You still need to march down and get a touchdown. Like, you, but, and, but it's not a two possession game. Like you just, you are, you are there. Just try to get the touchdown. And I understand the thought of, um, well, we have three timeouts. We uh, look the, the Rams, they don't have Cooper cup. They haven't really been able to move the ball. Uh, let, let's just do that. This run defense couldn't stop a fucking thing. And so I don't know why they thought they could get the stops when they did. Then they didn't use the timeouts in the way that maybe you would want them to. Although again, they weren't getting stops anyway. So put them in weird positions to try to use those timeouts. But Regardless, the thought that this offense could kick that field goal and then the defense is going to get a stop and in a two-minute drill, they're going to go out and do anything to move the ball down the field and get points again is just, it's not happening. There's no read on the situation at all. Antonio Pierce, I think, has really established now that the, the victory cigars were fun. He brought a bit of a swagger back to the Raiders, and I was behind it. I was in on it. Um, he, he had really kind of fooled me, duped me even, into thinking that this was a football team that had just better vibes now with Josh McDaniels. And look, it is easy to come in and have better vibes than Josh McDaniels. But I think Antonio Pierce has really shown now that when it comes to in-game management, when it comes to lineup decisions, when it comes to handling the media, it's fail, fail, fail. He doesn't know what he is doing. He is not an NFL coach. And you can bring in all the different advisors and whatever you want. It ain't working. And so I'm just, I'm over it. You could bring in Robert Salah tomorrow and I'd be fine with it. And I don't think he's that great of a coach either. But you want to bring someone in for the vibes of it or anything, at least he can kind of coach a defense a little bit. And seeing people this week making the, and honestly been seeing it for a bit, seeing people make the joke, oh yeah, just draft Shadur Sanders, uh, bring in Dion as the head coach and see what happens. And honestly, at this point, sure, just go with it. At, at this point, Honestly, I don't even care. It's just, it, it is not working. He doesn't have any of the answers to help this team out. And he has now, I think, signif by a significant margin, cost this team more than he has helped them. But aside from that, everything's great with the Las Vegas Raiders.